Looking for singles to finish your deck or collection? CCG Castle has a wide selection of cards at amazing prices. They also have tons of sealed boxes, tins, and packs as well. Use promo code EVO5 to save 5% off your next order. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Evolutionaries Gaming. I'm Professor K and we are back for another two pack Tuesday video where we open up two packs of Pokemon cards for your viewing pleasure to break up the week and give you a nice little quick opening where you may not have the necessarily may not necessarily have the time. I swear I can English. I promise you I can. Sometimes it just doesn't come out that way. Sometimes I talk too fast, but that's beside the point. Anyways, as I was saying, to break up the week, you may not have the time to watch a, an entire long, massive opening video. So here we are with two packs of very cool Pokemon cards to be exact. This time is Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. That pack card is intense. So this also came from CCGCastle.com. For those of you who don't know, they've been our sponsor for years. Great group of people. I feel like I say the same thing every video, but great place to go for Pokemon cards. Whether you want singles, whether you want packs, boxes, tins, you name it, definitely go and check them out. They are great for that. And uh, singles, for those of you who want to complete decks or your collection, awesome people to go to. 100% recommend everything for 2-Pack Tuesday actually did come from there. So, yeah. All right, well. Perhaps we should unleash these cards from their packs. Let's get started. So, pack number one. Oh yeah, how old are these packs? I like to do this with the older packs. I always forget how old these really are. 2010, so we got a 10 year old pack of Pokemon cards we're opening up this time. That's pretty wild, but let's get into it. So pack over there, no code card of course, because this is an era that did not have such a thing. But we've got ourselves a Chinchu. Darn it, I hate when my air conditioner kicks on. <sighs> I wish I could record in a different area, but like this is the only room in the house where I can. And my intake vent where the air gets like sucked up is literally like in that corner right there. And I can't get that sound out of my microphone, even with a, uh, what do you call it? Pop filter. <sighs> yes, pop filter. Can't even take it away with that. So sorry about that guys. All right, we got a Chinchu, like I said. We got a Squirtle, a Poliwag, Teddy Ursa. We got a Zubat, Poliwhirl, Plusel, Engineer's Adjustments. Oh, what? I forgot these are in the reverse slot. Tyranitar Prime. That is so cool. And a Fiero regular. But anyways, Tyranitar Prime, that is the coolest pull that we've gotten so far in our two-pack Tuesday since it's come back. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Darkness Howl, Power Claw, and Megaton Tail. Very, very nice. Prime's never really got the, uh, the um, appreciation that I feel like they deserved. They're such cool cards, but wow. Tyranitar Prime. Very nice, very nice. And also I really liked the Hurt Gold Soul Silver era cards. Had such an old rustic feel to them. Much like, you know, Johto in general just is a very old feeling uh, region. You know, when you consider the background and the history of Entei, Suicune, and Raikou, uh, it, it just gives that very authentic feel. You know, the TCG did a great job of that. A lot of people may not have liked the design of these cards with the border, you know, with the, um, the lack of color, you know, some of the white going into the yellow, making them look older than what they are. But I actually really do appreciate this era of cards because of that. And I feel like they really held true to the roots of the Heart Gold Soul Silver um, theme, so to speak. And the artwork on these as well, I mean, it makes it feel very, very authentic to me. Yeah, love it. That's why Johto is my favorite, honestly. Like TCG and a video game. But Heart Gold Soul Silver Remake was amazing. They did such a great job with it. And the Gold and Silver were always fantastic, so. All right. Here. Oh. 
You know, I hate when this happens. It's hard for me to hold my surprise back, but I feel like I just saw something in here, and I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, because I know you guys hate when I do this, but like, I still get to be, I'm like a kid sometimes. Well, I'm like a kid a lot of times, because here I am, you know, still making YouTube videos on Pokemon, but like, sometimes I can't help it. If I see it, I can't stop myself from being like, oh, what's that? Like, sometimes I can do it, but sometimes I can't. And I feel like I saw something. And if I did, then this is like the best two-pack Tuesday video that will probably have this entire year of 2020. All right, let's just get into it. We got a Zubat, a Beldum, Poliwag, Tropius, Cherubi, Seedra, Grottle, Rare Candy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If this is a prime, I'm going to lose it. Okay, I didn't. What I saw was the reverse holo. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought I saw another prime. I saw this silver, this silver, and look at this. Look how the border is on this. Look at the comparison side by side. They're the same color. I really thought I saw something, but it was just a reverse APOM. Thank goodness. I'm sorry if I almost spoiled that for you guys. I try my best not to. I really, really do. But sometimes my excitement gets the best of me, and I'm sorry for that. Reverse is an APOM, and we've got a Roserade, which has a really cool artwork style. I love the Roserade in this set as well. Very nice. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, we did get ourselves the T-Tar Prime, which is amazing. And not to mention the old school rare candy. That's an awesome pull in and of itself because a lot of people appreciate those in their decks because it can be used even though it is a very old card. It's been reprinted and that's all that matters. So very nice, great opening for sure. Love this two pack Tuesday. And of course we got plenty more. I mean, I still have a lot of these packs left. I'm trying to pick them up here. We still got all this left next week. It's boundaries crossed. Once again, double Anderus. We still got Legendary Treasures, Undaunted, more Burning Shadows, Platinum, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and more Burning Shadows. So, lots of stuff ahead for sure. Alrighty, guys. Well, let me know what you think of this series. Keep it going. I want to know week to week how you guys feel about Two-Pack Tuesday, how you feel about the, the structure of it, and, you know, just the process in general. I really want to create an open forum, so to speak, when it comes to these type of videos. I want to make sure you guys are appreciating them, liking them. If there's anything I could do different or make them better, definitely want to know. The only thing I'm not going to change is it's going to be two pack Tuesday. So two packs only. And there's only a certain amount of packs that I'm limited to. So whatever CCG Castle has in stock and I can get with store credit, which by the way, when I use my store credit uh, to get these packs, I wiped it out. So like, I can't do older stuff all the time, but I'm going to build up my store credit again and then hopefully do more like that. So with those two things in mind, let me know if there's anything else you guys can think of. Um, I'm always open to the feedback regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this ran so long, but it happens sometimes. You know me. I tend to like to talk and rant and ramble and all that good stuff. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a great day.